Welcome to the tutorial of WiseDoc AI version 2.0. In this short tutorial, you are going to learn how to use WiseDoc AI to create professional resumes and cover letters in an efficient way and customize it for a specific job. Also in the end, I will show you how to request a resume review to your advisor. After you log into WiseDoc, you will enter this page, which is called a My Drive page. So in the My Drive page, you can create files and folders. Also, you can see there are like templates, which you can use for resumes and cover letters. There are several kinds of templates which you can pick up from. And if you need to create a folder, you can go to New and click on a folder, and you can say a folder name 2023 application, something like that. And once you create a folder, well, you don't have to create a folder to create a file, but it's always good to organize your files and folders. So once you create a folder, then you can create a file. Let's say a resume file. So WiseDoc, resume and choose a template you prefer to. If you don't have a specific choice to begin with, you can always just pick up a template and you can always change later. So I'm going to choose basic template and then say create. So once you click create, what WiseDoc is going to do is going to open a brand new file with all the empty data and in the file. You have two options. Option number one is to import an existing resume if you already have it, which is very simple. Just click the import option and say proceed. And you can choose a file from your system. And then WiseDoc is going to go through your existing resume and put all the data into the WiseDoc system so that you can keep editing over here. Or you can keep writing a resume from scratch, which is always a best option because WiseDoc provides the tips of how to write a resume of each and every section and input. So in this tutorial, I'm going to go through and start writing a resume. And, and then we can see what are the other features and benefits we can take advantage of to have a professional resume in the end. So on the left side, what you can see are the list of sections which you can use for writing your resume. And there are like totally 19 sections where you can choose for your resume. In this case, I'm going to choose summary and I'm going to choose a work experience. And then I'm going to arrange them in a fashion according to what most advisors suggest, which is summary, education, skills, projects, and then the work experience. And of course, you can always drag and drop around to see which sequence of sections you like to. As you can see here, the sequence of sections is something you can always choose. And now let's start writing a resume. So this is called real-time preview. While I'm writing on the left, what we can do is we can see the data populating on the right side. So, so, As you can see, the data start populating on the right side. And as you move across these inputs, you can see the tip is also moving to different inputs, giving you a suggestion of how to write each part of your resume so that you don't have to search in Google. So, that's about, that's as simple as that. And in the summary section, you can start writing a summary. And, and in education section, you can fill in the education name, the address, and the degree. So the fields are pretty simple and straightforward for you to start writing the resume. And one thing I would like to focus is the skill section. So most of the students or the applicants just write skills as just one skill section. They just say skills. And they keep writing all the skills into one section. Java, Python, C, C++. And they, they might write some other tools like design tools, AutoCAD or something. So, so... People just write skills all in one section. However, WiseDoc provides a unique option where you can have multiple sections of skills, where you can have a software skills and hardware skills separately. And then you can segregate your design skills, basically whatever you would like to name the section, the subsection of the skills, you are free to choose that. And sometimes if you don't choose the word summary or skills, you can always click here and you can rename to summary or qualifications or anything you prefer to. 
Everything is very, very, very customizable. So I'm going to fill up this resume over the next few minutes. And then we can switch the templates and see how we, how the resume looks in different templates. All right, so here I completed the entire resume. And as you can see, the resume is completed with purple color, and you can always change into different colors if you prefer to. And there are line spacings and font size and font styles. Everything can be customizable, but the default ones are good enough for the ATS. So if you see that there's a tab here called Templates, so if you go to Templates, there are several templates available. And you can hover on it to see how your resume is going to look like in different templates. And then you can pick a template you prefer to. So that option is very easy. You don't have to choose a template when you begin, but you can. You can always change your template eventually. And once you have the resume completed, the second part is something called Tetra AI. So as you can see here, there is a spot called Tetra AI with two options, AI Resume Review and AI Job Specific Resume. So what WiseDoc does is it is going to review the resume you have created with you, whether you provide a job description, which is nothing but you copy-paste the job you're applying for the job description into this input, and then you save it. Or if you don't, if you're not applying for a specific job, if you just want your resume to be reviewed, you can choose the AI resume review option. And you can just start with your choosing your experience level. But, but right now we can see the full version, which is the job description, which is AI job specific resume. So once you choose, once you put your job job description and run evaluate, then WiseDoc is going to provide inputs and suggestions about how you can improve your resume. So if you see here on the first point, it says improve your ATS score, Watts score. It's like a complete score for all sections combined. And our algorithm assumes the weight age of each section separately, depending on your work experience. So if you are a work, if you're an undergraduate, you might want to choose this. If you are a one to five year experience, you might want to choose a different option. And depending on what option you choose, WiseDoc is going to calculate the score differently. So once you have the job description and the experience level updated, then you can click Run, Evaluate, and it says that you have not included Education section. So WiseDoc is suggesting the applicant or the user to add an Education section to the document. And there are the Section Tips. It's the same Section Tips which you can use while you're working on, or there are also tips available here. And then there is a Technical Skills and Soft Skills comparison. So what WiseDoc is doing is it is comparing the keywords of the job you're applying for and the words which are present on your resume. And then, and then it's telling you which skills are matched to the job you're applying for. In this case, only two skills are matching for the job I'm applying for, which is not so great because when you're applying for a job, you want to make sure that the resume is as relevant to the job as possible. So WiseDoc is showing you what other keywords you might want to include in your data to make sure it's relevant to the job you're applying for. And then it's going to show you a detailed scan of where you can improve your resume. It could be adding to the fixing the grammar issues. It could be at avoiding the weak action verbs. So, you, so here I used a weak action verb called created. Turns out that's not a strong action verb. So we need to have strong action verbs. And WiseDoc also provides a link here so that you can go and access to the entire directory of action verbs. And WiseDoc is saying, uh, please add some relevant soft skills. So essentially the Tetra AI is going to review the entire, each and every section individually. And then it's going to score each section to see where you can improve. And if you can get this ATS score to more than 90%, then we consider it as a good resume for the job you're applying for. The possibilities of you getting a phone call with that resume is pretty high compared to a resume which has a low scores. So once you have a resume created and then reviewed using Tetra AI, 
Now the next step is to create a cover letter. So, we understand that the cover letter is pretty difficult to write. It's going to time-taking, but WiseDoc AI provides another option called AI Cover Letter. So when you click that option, what it does is when you say proceed, WiseDoc is going to read through your entire resume and the AI is going to create a cover letter for you. So let's click proceed and see what happens. Okay, so once I click proceed, WiseDoc has read through my entire resume and it has created a cover letter for me. How cool is that? So basically we fed the AI, open AI with all the right prompts, all the rules and regulations of the cover letter, the data which you have written for the resume, and the job description. We have taken all the data in the right detail and prompts, and we have fed to the AI for it to create a cover letter. And then we automatically put the data into the cover letter here. How cool is that? It just saves whole number of hours for generating, for writing a cover letter. So now that you have a template to begin with, what you can do is you can see where you can improve. So now that you have the job description, which you have copy-pasted, so what WiseDoc is going to do again for the cover letter is going to see match the skills for resume and the job description. So now you can see that there are three skills which are matching, which means I need to update my cover letter to match more number of skills for the job I'm applying for. And then there is a detailed scan where you can also see where you can improve, and already the score is like 70% because the AI does a pretty good job in giving a cover letter. Now you just have to take that extra step ahead to make sure that the score is more than 90%. So this saves a lot of time and gives you a customized cover letter. For your resume or for the job you're applying for, saving a lot of time and also giving a major edge for your job application. The last part covered by this tutorial is the requesting resume and cover letter review from the advisor. So once you're done with writing resumes or cover letter, you can save and close the document. And there is something called review services. So if your university advisors are providing an option to request for a resume or a cover letter review, they will provide some listings here where you can go and choose and make those requests from review services. So in the review services, you can choose a listing, and let's say you want to have a cover letter review service. You can click the cover letter. You can choose an existing cover letter from my stock files or an additional documents from your system. And then you can say, next. You can provide some comments or request details. I advisor. Please review my document or hyphen position at Google, something like that. And then you can say next. And then you can submit. Now once you submit this file, the advisor is going to go through the request and accept the request. And they're going to review it and respond it back to you and you can track it from your listings. So that's it. We just created a professionally looking resume using WiseDoc AI and generated a cover letter under less than 15 minutes. And also submitted a manual review request to the advisor within few clicks. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you.